Hello, I'm Ira Thor of the Cusida Academic All-America Committee, and I'm joined today by Sarah DeVries of the Calvin University Women's Volleyball Team, your 2019 Academic All-America of the Year for NCAA Division III Women's Volleyball. Sarah, congratulations. You're Thank you. the rare student athlete who's both the Academic All-American of the Year and the Division III National Player of the Year. We're going to talk about both your academic and your athletic accomplishments because you've proven to be the best in the country in both. Let's talk about Kusida Academic All-America of the Year. You're the top scholar athlete in the country in NCAA Division III women's volleyball. What does this great honor mean to you? Um, well, it means a lot to me. It's a huge accomplishment, and I don't do it for the awards, but it feels really good to have a lot of hard work pay off because um, it's not easy being a student athlete. It takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of focus and just hard work. So it feels really good and it's a huge honor to be able to be recognized for something like that I've spent a lot of time doing. So yeah, it feels really good. How have you done this? You, you carry a 3.82 GPA in nursing, very hard major. You're performing at the highest level possible. How are you able to sustain such combined success both athletically and academically in all phases of your college experience? Yeah. Um, well, first, I have to give a lot of credit to my coaches and professors. They're so good at just um, giving me time to do things. My coach is really good about letting us go to class, um, giving us time to study. And our professors um, just are really good about us missing class, too. They really help us. They've even proctored and postponed tests for me over Thanksgiving break, which is something I really appreciated. So, um, yeah, that means a lot. But like I said, it's a lot of time management. It takes a lot of hard work. So, um just really focusing on taking those little time breaks to just study and um, study on the bus and just do whatever I can to stay on top of things. I've gotten a lot better at time management. It's something that I've struggled with before, but um, being a student athlete at college has really helped me grow in that area too. Now, it's one of the hardest skills to possibly learn. So to be able to pull both off, you clearly have mastered that. Um, for the second year in a row, you're the division three national player of the year while playing two positions, both middle blocker and setter put up huge numbers at both positions. Three-time National Player of the Week this year. You were playing for one of the best programs in the country. Tell us how you've been able to excel at two different demanding positions, and is there one that you actually prefer? Um, I get the what do I prefer a lot, and um, it's honestly really hard to decide because they're so different. I think I like the variety. When I'm in the back row, I'm really focusing on setting and giving my hitters the opportunity. I love setting other people up for success. I think it's really fun to like hype up other people up in that way. And then when I'm done with the back row, I'm like, all right, I'm, I get a hit. This is another part of me. And I just get to switch it up and I keep it interesting. Um, and then what was the first question? Sorry, I forgot. Well, I mean, to be able to be national player to year two times in a row, what does that mean to you? Um, it's a huge honor. It means a lot to be the best player in the country for D3. And, um, yeah, it's just, it means a lot. I've worked hard in volleyball my whole life and I can't even begin to describe how much it means to me just to play with my teammates. I owe a lot of it to them and my coaches. It's a huge team award. You have to make it to the elite eight basically to be in the running for it. So I give a lot of credit to everybody else too, for helping me. Well, that allows us to talk about Calvin. Since 2011, Calvin's had the National Player of the Year seven of the last nine years. You won it back-to-back -back years, as we said. Tell us about your program. How is Calvin able to have so many different women win this award over the past decade? Um, well, I think it goes back a lot to our coach. She does an incredible job of recruiting. And then she also helps us just grow a really great team culture. And I think that really helps us all just perform really well together because it's such a team sport. Your team has to do really well for individuals to be successful. And we just have a ton of fun together and um, we gel really well together on the court. So I think that's something that has really helped me and a lot of other people win these awards on our team. Something that's interesting about Calvin is the legacy. There's so many families that go to the school. Your mom, Betsy, was Calvin's starting setter on the school's 1992 NCAA Division III National Semifinalist team. How much pride does your family have in you continuing their legacy and, and the legacy you're doing at such a high level at their institution? Um, well, I know my parents and everybody is really proud of me and it's really fun to be able to continue my mom's legacy here. Um, I've grown to love volleyball because of my mom. She was actually my high school coach and she was the one who made me play middle. I was a right side first. So 
um, I really owe a lot my love for the game to her, just for training me, coaching me, always letting me do it, just for fun, never pressuring me. And so it's really fun to kind of follow in her footsteps and just keep doing what she did. But it's also my own story too, and she's really good about that too. That's great. And mm -hmm. last question, you're a two-time first team Academic All-America, including this year's National uh, Academic All-American of the Year. What are your future plans once you conclude your nursing degree? Oh, that's another question I get a lot. And I feel like I've been so busy, I haven't had a ton of time to think about it. But um, right now I know that I'm really interested in working in the ICU because um, I really like the higher intensity situations. And I've also always loved babies and kids. So I've kind of been thinking NICU or pediatrics. And then um, I know I wanna do some type of grad school. So I've been thinking about doing nursing anesthesiology or a nurse practitioner, anything like that. So. I don't know if school is quite done for me yet, but we'll have to see what the future holds. Well, playing college volleyball at a high level will certainly set you up to be able to work in a high pressure environment. So congratulations yeah. on that. And thank you again for joining us. Congratulations, Sarah DeVries of the Calvin University Women's Volleyball Team. She is your 2019 Academic All-America of the Year in the sport of NCAA Division Three Women's Volleyball. Congratulations. Thank you.